we take a look at the cornucopia of flavor this Thanksgiving. Hey guys, welcome to Rose Safari. An uneducated perspective on beer reviews. I'm Jake. I'm Zach. This is Pilgrim. Yes, it is. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Yep. Yes. So this is our special. Yep. And with that, what is your previous experience with the Pilgrim? None. Not Never either. heard of it. Yeah. Same here. Even though it is amazingly difficult to find Thanksgiving themed beers. Yeah. Well, I gotta say. That's because everyone overlooks Thanksgiving. Hey, I went to a place that had like 400 craft beers. They uh -huh. had one Thanksgiving. That's what I'm saying. Beer. In every aspect every sense of it. Everyone always overlooks Thanksgiving. It's true. Like, you go into any store, immediate, like, November 1st, and you see Christmas decorations. It infuriates it's, me. It's very frustrating. So, yeah. But we got one. We got so one. That's all that matters. Yeah. That's all that matters. Just for you. You're welcome. Yep. So, are uh, you ready to go into that beer education? Beer education. Alright, let's do it. So, this is Pilgrim. It's 5.0% alcohol by volume, oh, and man. only 14 IBUs. This is, I think, the most mild beer we've had. We had a 13. Bitterness. We had a 13? Wait, no. I'm pretty sure Circus Boy was either a 13 or a 14. Oh, I thought it was 28. No, Circus Boy was either a 13 or a 14. It was, gotcha. it was, it's either same level or a little bit lower. Well, this is one of our most, yeah. our least bitters. So this is from Mad Tree Brewing Company, located in Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. Something we, we've never had anything from Mad Tree before, so this will be interesting. Yeah. The genre is a fall ale. I don't really know what a fall ale is. It says, on another section of the website, this is a pale ale, so this might be IPAE, but with the low IBU, I don't really know. Yeah. We're going to find out. It's going to be interesting. Uh, clearly, this is seasonally available. Uh, around the Thanksgiving season, it didn't mm -hmm. say exactly what the availability was, but it's something like now-ish, so that's good enough for me. Yep. Um, this beer contains flavors, both of cranberry and vanilla, and the hops for this beer are actually worth mentioning for once. The hops are the Pilgrim hops, something I've never seen in any other beer, very appropriate to the name, mm -hmm. and the Pilgrim hops are supposed to taste of lemons and berries. Oh my. So that should be a really interesting flavor profile for this beer. And hopefully so delicious. Hopefully it's a cornucopia of flavor. Oh yes. 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 Ready to look at the bottle? Let's do well, it. the can. The can, yes. Yeah. So, heavily Thanksgiving. And fall. Just and in general, fall in with general. the color scheme. Yes. You got the orange and the yellow, like the leaves changing colors. Oh, yeah. I mean, in general, I really like Mad Tree's logo. Oh, it's yeah, really like cool. The tree with the Mad Tree, it says, you know. You know what this reminds me of? There's an episode of, I don't know if you, you used to watch Supernatural. Yeah. There was an episode where they did this LARPing thing and they end, yep. they showed, you know what I'm talking about? I know exactly what That's you're the about. witch symbol. Yes. That was the old dead tree. That's what that, that looks like. That is what it looks like. And then I like the almost yeah. like Mayan front of the can. Oh yes, with like the the feathers and like it's got a TP and it's mm -hmm. yeah, it's cool. It's a uh, like it's it's a good can. It's not like anything crazy. No, but it's, it's cool but it's simple and it's nice. I like it. It's I like it. Pleasant to look at. Yes, it's okay. worthy of the collection. Yes, yes. Are right, you ready to crack it on open? Yes. Let's do it. We haven't had a we haven't had a proper can crack in a while. Oh, they're good. That was a good one. They're good. Yeah, it's been a while since we've had a can on the show. It's been very bottle focused. You know, it's weird. I didn't know what I expected it to look like. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect it to look like this. It looks like a blue moon. It looks like, it's got almost a gradation, where when it, in the thin parts of the glass, it's very yellow. Mm -hmm. And it gets orange as it gets, like, thicker. It's got, it's you got a fragrant, too. There's something... You could smell the, Ooh. I want to say berry smell. Yeah, like, you get, like, a cranberry sort of smell that comes through. Yeah, you do. I hope it's not going to taste it, because cranberry also sort of has a bitter taste to it, which is what I'm a little worried about. Yeah, I'm not anti-cranberry, but I'm kind I'm, of anti-cranberry. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I, whenever I'm at, whenever the family's passing around the cranberry sauce at the table for Thanksgiving, I'm like, I'm going to pass. I always pass, yeah. You just I'm sweat. Not, I'm Next not into cranberries. Goes. Yeah. But in a beer, I feel like it might work, because beer is like a bitter flavor. Cranberries cool. are bitter, you know what I mean? Do you see how there's like a shadow underneath? 
like how it's just there is there excessively dark right underneath the frog. It does seem like, yeah, there's almost a shadow of the head. And, and we're cool. already getting some nice velveting too. I know. Which is worth pointing this out. This is impressive. It's this pretty is, cool. As far as just aesthetically, purely like, aesthetically, I think this, this beard seems well crafted. Also, I don't know about yours, but I'm getting some cratering on my head. I don't know if this cratering. usually happens. You are getting cratering. That is weird that it's, it seems to be collapsing in, in select areas. Mine's more like pancakey, pancakey head. Yeah, where it just I mean? inflates in the middle. I don't yeah. know. I don't think I've ever seen that before, but it, I don't think it really matters. I think it's just a matter of how I pour yeah, it. Worth pointing out yeah. still, I'd yep. say. Okay. All right. Um, smelly smell? Smelly smell. You get the cranberries. You get the berries. Something vaguely citrusy, maybe. It's kind well, of there's, a, there's a bit of citrus. Almost like an orange juice or a... Yeah, orange peel, probably. Yeah. Something like that. Um, I don't get any vanilla. No, I don't like the way this smells, to be honest. It's, it doesn't... It smells... It, it's a smelly smell. Honestly, it, it smells... I don't dislike the way it smells, but yeah. it reminds me of the Southern Tears. Yeah. And it makes me concerned. Yeah. <laughs> but see, I don't get that pumpkin-y spice, but it does, it does have a lot of smells that aren't necessarily yeah. associated with beer. It doesn't smell fake. No. Like the... The no. Southern Tears smell, but... Okay. Ah, uh, well... All right, well, let's give it a taste. Chase? Let's do it. Here goes Cheers. nothing, right? Yeah. It's actually not bad. It's weird. It's got a very heavy taste in the back, a heavy feeling in the back of your throat. It's a heavy feeling overall, I'd say. But the taste, the actual flavor is really transient. You know what I mean? It's quick. Yeah. You gotta catch it. What's weird is I'm getting like a lemon peely flavor, but, which isn't really coming through. Yeah. Um, I'm not really getting any vanilla. No. No. Cranberry I, a little bit. A little bit of cranberry. Like, honestly, I'm not, this is like, this is perplexing my taste buds. Wow. Um, this immediately is like, I feel like this is how Southern Tears should have done their pumpkin stuff. Yeah, because it's better than that. It's still. It's better than any of the pumpkins. The way it's working for me though, the taste, there's not a lot at the tip of my, at the front of my mouth. And then it gets stronger as it goes to the back of my tongue and into my throat. I agree. I don't understand. Yeah. No, it definitely... That is one weird thing about this show, is I've realized how tongue location is yeah. really weirdly dependent on flavor. Well, yeah, because different, different parts of your tongue are more susceptible to different flavors and sensations, I suppose. Yeah. I think that's how it works. Yeah, this is just so lemony. I can't believe the it's... lemon is coming through from, I guess, the Pilgrim Hops, supposedly. Well, it's not quite like a... Like, when you think of the lemon beer, you think of Summer Shandy. Because Summer Shandy is like... That's like a lemonade. That's lemonade That's beer. a little different. That tastes excessively This is, this is like almost like a lemon tea. You know what I mean? See, I don't get the lemon that much. I do get citrus, but it's not, it doesn't, it's not lemon to me. It's more like an orangey. Because it doesn't have that sourness, that overly sourness that lemon does. Yeah, it's it. not as aggressive. But for me, it's clearly a lemon. Because lemon tastes different than orange. You think so? It's almost like the acidity of an orange, but with the flavor of a lemon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I, I, I could get, I get yeah. behind that. Um, man, I don't... I do. I'm getting the berry in the... the a little bit of it, yeah. Too, a little berryness. Um, hmm. Almost like a crunch berry. Not like a real berry. So... What do you think? It's very interesting. I don't know if I like it. It's weird. It's really weird. It's like a, a fun try beer, but not a... A regularly drink beer. Oh, I don't think I want to like rate it highly or anything. No, we're gonna find out in a few minutes. Oh yeah. Um, um the flavor is really flat. Yeah. Too. You know what I mean? Cause it, it just hits and then it's done. Yeah, it doesn't taste like. There's not a lot to it. Yeah, not a lot to it. Oof. It's weird. This is a. It's a weird one. It's a weird one. I am. Can... Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what Perplex. to say about it. It's it's interesting. All right. Before we get too dead. Yeah, let's let's go for it. Let's. All right, let's do the. All right, pterodactyl. <laughs> let's do the look. Let's look at the look real quick. Maybe burp weird. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> it's gonna get broadcast online now, so I'm cool with it. Dude, you are now pterodactyl. I'm gonna release it as a ringtone. <laughs> so the look. How would you give the look? Oh shit. How would you give the look on this? I mean, it's a good looking beer, honestly. It looks good. It's it's good like it's like it reminds me of like Arnold Palmer. Yeah. You know what I mean? I saw this and I was like Blue Moon. It's like a darker Blue Moon. Well, this this has more orange than Blue Moon. 
Does it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, like in the coloration, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Blue Moon's not an orange colored beer. Blue Moon's no. a pale beer. See, I see this as... Actually, that, that's very... Uh, is it really, though? Blue Moon? Yeah. I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it looks similar like this. I could be wrong. Maybe you're right. I don't know. Oh, Let's well. Let's get Blue Moon on the show. Yeah. The only Blue Moon we've had is this disgusting pumpkin beer. Oh, it was so gross. It was so we gross. We did a full episode on it. We just... It was in those... Yeah, we, we're not episodes. giving that the dignity of a full episode. Yeah. Oh, At least not immediately. Maybe next year. Yeah. Next October. Don't get your hopes up. So the look, I, I'm going to give it like a six. I think it's pretty good, but it's nothing crazy. I'm going to give it a six. It's kind of basic. Yeah. No crazy six contrast. Six for look is like our like, eh, it's all right. That's pretty good, you know, yeah. It's, it's not terrible. Good. So the head. How would you do the head? So the head. See, the head's weird because it's not six. a lot of head, but that velveting is out of control right now. Especially on this. My yeah. head's sticking around, but I don't, maybe I'm just a better pourer than you, I don't know. I'm going six, too, I think. Six? Yeah. 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 Smell. How do you hate smell? smell? It's, a, it's a, a four. I'll do it a four, too. Because it's, it's, it's not terrible, but it's also not pleasant, so it's like right below, yeah. like, the nothingness category, which yes. would be a five. I agree. So. No, oh. the feel. Feel itself. Oh, no, it's. It's like a five, to, a four or five. I don't like the way this feels. I'm not a fan of this at all. I can't decide. It's just, there's some. It's just really weird. I've never had a beer that tastes or feels like this. It's like so heavy in the throat. It's light, in, light on the tongue, heavy as you're swallowing yes, it. Yes, I completely it's agree. It's so weird. It's super it's weird. It's so weird. I don't. It's, mm. it's almost like a slushy or something. Yeah. It's it's really like like the flavor and the and the sensation of your tongue is. A, but as it goes down your throat because of the alcohol and, and whatever else is in it, it just, it, it almost like knots up your, in your throat a little bit. Because it goes down and it's heavy. It's not thick either, which is no. weird. It's a thin beer. I don't, I don't get why it does that. I don't understand why, mo uh, this happens with uh, stouts too for me. It's weird because I don't dislike it, but I don't like it. No, I don't like it. It reminds me of like what it felt like to taste a beer before I liked beer. I'm going to give it a me. four. A four? Yeah, I really don't like it. I'm going to go six, actually. I don't think it's bad. It's just not great. Yeah. I. It's weird, because for me, because usually it's like a positive-negative thing. Mm -hmm. Here, I don't feel like there's very many negatives to this beer, right? I don't have any straight negatives. Yeah. I have a lot of weirdness. No, like... And I have a few positives, so it becomes a six for me. Yeah, but like just me personally, I don't like that though. I don't like having to drink a liquid and then it feels heavy in the throat. I'd rather feel heavy on the tongue and light in the throat. I agree. Because I when agree. I when I feel like I'm gulping something that's solid or thicker than it is, it's just weird. Because I'm like, why is that really happening? Weird. It's a really it's, it's a weird strange. sensation. And it happens with beer, like craft, like especially like these kind of beers. It happens a lot with. You know what I mean? You swallow. Yeah. It's, it's very light on the front of your tongue, and as it gets further into your mouth, it gets heavier. Hey, it's not very carbonated either. It's like, oh no, it's, I don't see it's any bubbles. Oh, there's a few, there's a few, especially if you hold up to the light, you see them, but there's, there's not a lot of bubbles. Oh yeah, um, I lied. There's not a heavily carbonated beer. No. It's just, that, it's weird that the flavor from the hops is like the main flavor you get. Yeah. Because I feel like the cranberry and the vanilla, the vanilla I don't even get at all. No, that's not um, there. It's non-existent. Yeah, I don't get it at all. The cranberry, I definitely get, but it's almost like in the whole thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's and like, like the lemon is like a strong in the middle package that punches through. Uh-huh. So you get a little cranberry at the beginning and the end. Yeah. The, there's that weird crunch berry aftertaste. Mm -hmm. You know, which it just, it's like... You say, gin, you say crunch yeah, berry? Yeah, crunch berry. Like the, the cereal? Yeah. You know uh, what I mean? Think yeah. about it. Taste it. it. It's. I'm serious. It's a real thing. Because I was trying to think of like what berry it tastes like. And I was like, you know, it's like generic crunch berry. Like just berry. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like an unsweetened version of that. Yes. Definitely unsweetened. This is not a sweet beer by no. any means. Even though it's only a 14. Yeah. It's not bitter either. No. It's just... It's heavy, though. It's heavy and flat. It, 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 it's so weird. It's like someone took like like a really lively, fun festive beer and took a steamroller to it. <laughs> <laughs> Flattened it out. Yeah. No, because this, this... Oh, God, that mouthfeel. I can't get over it. I don't like it. Hey, hey it's okay if you don't like it. Oh, my. I just... All right. So, main taste. How would you go main taste? Main taste? 
It's a five. Or no, it's a six. Honestly, it's a six. It's a six for me too. Well, actually, I really, I'm not a. a it's huge, really hard to say. It's it's. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's better. It's not like it's nothing. It's not like it's a, a bearable taste. It's like it's a taste that is not bad. It's not just average. It's 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 okay. It's all right. Yeah, but I think I, I'm gonna go six too. Six. I'm gonna go six. Oh my god. Yeah, I. It's, 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 it's crazy. like crazy. This beer is really confusing because there's not a lot of negatives or positives. Yeah. But it's not nothing either. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's definitely not nothing. It's like someone shot testosterone into a Coors Light. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they took the nothing up to the extreme. But it, extreme nothing. Yeah, but, and it hits you straight in the nuts. Yeah, it's it's really weird. Yeah. Um, See, but what ruined, what does this beer in for me is the... It, the mouthfeel. I don't know why. It's just such a weird thing. It's not like a like a stout where you get the, the same feel all throughout the mouth, mm -hmm. and you like you get, it's like coat your mouth, and you get it down your throat a little thicker, and then like or whatnot. It's just it's it's a mix of several different genres, and I don't like it because I don't know what to do with it. It it's, it does feel like it's between genres. I don't know why it's also making me salivate yeah. a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of liquid in my mouth right now. Like I don't it's, know why. It's true. This is the most. It, it honestly, it makes me want to try more fall ales. Yeah. But I, I don't know where to get them. Yeah. Apparently they're not available. Mm -hmm. I, it's super weird. Um, Some Googleizing will have to be done later. I'm going to have to look at the fall ales. Yeah. It's, it, this is a very strange... Well, we're, we're running out of time for that fall, so... It's maybe true. For, maybe for next next year. Next right. year, we'll look out for some more. Yeah. Because um, it's weird, because I would still recommend it. I'm still like, you should try it. Because if you like beers, not if you're like a beginner, it's not getting no, our beginner standard. No, 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 because you're going to be so confused. You're going to be like, be so, what the hell is gonna, going you're on? You're not going to know what's happening. You're like, ew, this is gross. Um, but if you're like a beer aficionado, or mm -hmm. if you're like pride yourself as someone who likes beers, I feel like you should give it a shot. Oh, yeah, no, it's definitely it's, worth trying. Yeah, especially if you could find it like we did in a build your own six pack. Mm -hmm. oh, you're totally not worth money to it. You're not wasting yeah. all the six pack. This beer is 100% worth having like a glass of just oh, yeah. to see what the hell's going on with it. Oh, yeah. Because I could see some people being really into it. Um, I'm just not. <laughs> I don't even know if I am. It's really strange. Like, here's the thing. If I went to a bar, like, next week, yeah. and this was on tap... You might try it? There's a good chance I would get it again. Not even because Dude, I really like, okay. like it. Even after we just had that, uh, that delicious Moses... Holy Moses was fantastic. Holy Moses was so good. That's fantastic. That's, that is, like, up there on my new favorites. That's That's... that's in the short list. I just, the more I drink of this, the more it's, it's like growing on me. Really? It's, yeah. See, I don't like beers that have to grow. Like, I mean. I don't even care. I, I don't care about that. I agree that it probably would grow on me if I drank it a little more, but I don't think, I think first impressions are a big thing, though. Well, because the more I'm drinking, I'm getting a little more vanilla coming through. You actually find the vanilla? I'm finally finding, like, two-thirds of the way through the glass, I'm finding the vanilla. So I'm finding the vanilla, and it's it's getting like a vanilla lemon. Where is it at? Like, where is the vanilla? It's in the middle of your tongue. If that makes anything. Somewhere in the middle. I mean, well, it's, it's especially weird because it's an unsweetened vanilla. Vanilla usually comes with sweetness. Yeah. This is an unsweetened vanilla oh. flavor. I'm glad I found it. It's nice. Then I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what I'd look for because I've never had unsweetened vanilla. It's it's a very distinct. I don't know. It's just it's just a strange beer. All right. Well, um, you, well let's move on. Yeah. We're just gonna dwell and talk about the weirdness. Yeah. Uh, what where would you drink this beer? What's your location for this? I don't know. Thanksgiving maybe. I don't think this would be good for Thanksgiving. Is that is that a very generic answer? Because it's a. Um, I don't know. What about you here? Uh, what about me? Yeah. Why would I drink this? I would drink this. With people who enjoy beer, who are mm. looking for, like, a change. Also. You know what I mean? Like, if I had, like, beer friends who, like, because I don't. Uh -huh. But if I did have <laughs> friends who I, like, we got a weird craft beer every week. You yeah. know, something like that. That would be really, this would be really good for that. You know, this is, this is, like, a unique experience. Yeah. This is something I would, but this is something you experience with other people who like beer. So this is somewhere yes. I would go, I would get to drink this on a date with a new, some girl I met who likes beer. Or going out with a buddy that likes beer of mine. Yeah. That way we can kind of talk about it a little bit. Exactly. Like it's it's you have to. This is a beer you have to elaborate on. You got to talk about it. Yeah. There's stuff going on. Yeah. You can't just drink this casually. Um, like if there was like some sort of beer competition. Yeah. Happening where like you know a whole 
bunch of people was drinking beers in order, mm -hmm. this would be really cool. To be in a room with like 50 people drinking one one glass of this. Yeah. And like talk about it. Because everyone's like, hey, what's going on? And then yeah. They're like, oh yeah, like do you guys get that hand? And like, oh shit, yeah, I do. You like, you, you, everyone gets each other to dig for more flavors and like analyze it more. Yeah. Because yeah. like as far as like our kind of whole philosophy on the channel of like experience in a glass. Mm-hmm. Outside of the independent categories, I rate this very highly. Because this really is, like, a very unique experience in a glass, as far as yes. it goes. But I, we haven't... We This is, what, episode 20? Yeah. And we've never seen a beer like this. No. No, this we have not. This is a very unique thing. But on, like, a personal level, though, I just don't like this. Hey, nothing wrong just with that. Just the way... The way everything kind of works together... It, it's like balanced, but it's not in my favor. It is balanced. I would say it's balanced, but not yeah, in my favor. I know what you're saying. You know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, the word review. The word review. The word. What would your word be? I know what my word is. What's Sorry. your word? Sorry. All right. My word's confusing. Can I? Can I? Can I agree with you there? You want to agree with me? I'm gonna say confused. Yeah. I'm, I don't know. This is the most confused my taste buds have been in a while. I agree. Yeah. The, I almost don't trust any of the numbers I gave. No, I don't. Because they feel wrong. Yeah. I feel like I'm judging it against <laughs> things that don't relate to this. Yeah, because this is a whole, like, these these flavorful you know, beers and extra, they're, yeah. they're different. Like, for mouthfeel, I want to give it, like, a Batman symbol. Because <laughs> it's just, like, <laughs> it's not yeah. competing with the same things. That's You know, it feels like the goals are different. Oh, yeah. It's just, it's a different thing. Oh, well. Know. All right, well. That about wraps it up, so... That's about it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for joining us for this yeah. Thanksgiving episode. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. If yeah, you like, Thanksgiving. leave a like. If you liked it a lot, hit that subscribe button. If you really liked it, though. If you really, really liked it. Like, really, really liked it. Take that hand turkey and smash that bell. Yep. Yeah. Never miss an episode every Tuesday and Thursday. Yep. All See, right. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Farewell. Here are the scores for today's beer. Here's how it stacked up against other beers we've reviewed.